Tem que tomar. Tem que tomar. All right, folks, Rick Mills here. We are in Hawaii. Took me a long time to get here. Not on the right island. We're in uh, Honolulu on the island of Oahu, and I still have to get back to the airport, catch a flight to Lanai. So I'm a day behind due to some airline mishaps, but we are in Hawaii, and uh, I will be on the island of Lanai, linking up with Richard Ghani later today. So it's up in the morning, coffee, breakfast, back to the airport, check bags back in, and the next time you see me, I should be taking off from Oahu and landing in Lanai. So we'll see you in Lanai, folks. <laughs> Going to get some tags for access steer later on this afternoon. Should be awesome. Stick with us.
this model aircraft. The only difference is back in the day we used to jump out of them. So just landed in Lanai. When you come to Hawaii and you go hunting, you have to rent your own lodging. You have to rent your own vehicle. So there's my truck right there. <laughs> just got out of the plane, waiting for the bags to show up and baggage thing. I'm gonna walk over, get the keys to this nice Toyota Tacoma. That's what I'll be driving for the next two weeks. Richard's working right now. So I'm gonna go to the Casa and uh, settle in. Maybe do some grocery shopping, get myself settled in so that when it's time to hunt, I'm ready to go. I'm not even out of the airport and I'm seeing wild game. They got turkeys here. I didn't know if they only had turkeys at the on the uh, Big Island. I wonder if they got turkey tags. That's it, 463. All right, we found our home for the next two weeks. All right, folks, we're at the house. I rented basically an apartment in a local house here. And I just got the tour from Ron, the owner. And I'm gonna give you the tour, uh, pretty much the way he gave me the tour, but uh, without any distractions or anything like that. So let's go take a look.
So they have a couple places in here, and I get my own space. It's set up for two people. You see the uh, mosquito slash fly net on the door, which is nice. Temperatures this time of year, the good hunting, I'm here the first two weeks in June. So temperatures like 60s at night, maybe if it gets down that low. Really 70, 75, 80 during the day. So mostly don't really need to run the AC, but there is a small AC in here. You can see it's set up for two hunters or two beds. Uh, microwave, hot plate, refrigerator, coffee pot, rice cooker, toaster. They've got snacks and stuff in the room uh, set up that you can uh, eat. All the food in the rooms included in the daily price for the room. Got a refrigerator freezer in here with food already in there. I'm going to go to the store here pretty soon and get some fresh stuff, some vegetables, some fruit, maybe get some beer. Let's go outside. A little TV action in here, a little fan, TV. Got a little porch section here to hang out on. Furniture that you can use and sit on. Another chair here, which you'll see me using regularly. I like being outdoors. Got a grill here for those back straps when we get a deer, which we're go is gonna happen. Propane, super easy. Shielded from the sun. His son-in-law lives next door and he's a hunter. So the meat processing area right here is all here. That's what we're going for right here. Look at those racks. And that's where the light switch is for the lights in this area. You see they got the scale right here for hanging deer up if you want to process something. If you want to bring it back here and process it. I'm hunting with Richard, so I'm thinking most of this stuff's going to be done with Richard. Pose right here. And then go look around, look at some other stuff. Got a walk in freezer here if we needed to get in there. Got another area with another stove. Again, propane stove if I wanted to cook outside, do some cooking. Turn the propane on, electric starter, and that's it. That's the tour. So we're in Hawaii, island of Lanai. I'm saddled, getting ready to get in the vehicle, unload all my stuff, get ready to go. I'm excited to like pull my bow out, maybe shoot my bow. Make sure she's ready to go. I got stuff to do, so we'll see ya. Well, folks, day one, I don't even know if I'd call it day one, and it is raining cats and dogs in Hawaii, Lanai. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> supposed to go buy tags with, uh, supposed to meet uh, Donnie down at the uh, tag place later. We'll see. Maybe buy some tags today, maybe go hunting today, I don't know. We'll see, see what happens. Not as long as it's raining. We can at least buy the tags. I wanted to see some of the area so that, uh, cause he's gotta work. So if I like, if I learn one area or two areas, then I can go to those places when, when he's working. So we'll see. He gets off work at 3. I'll meet him down there at like three, 10 after 3. Get some tags. We'll see if the rain stops. Nap time now. Alright, so Ghani messaged me and told me to link up with him over at the office where we uh, purchased tags behind the fire department here. So. Headed over there now. Go in by the tags. It's supposed to rain the rest of the day. 
I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll just do a recon. Do some driving around and looking. Some glassing. I got my video camera. Maybe we'll get some deer on video. We'll see. Alright. See you in the office. I get to meet Donnie for the first time in like 10 minutes. <laughs> Very excited. Look at that dude. You brought the rain, man. <laughs> Let me get out of the car. <laughs> Want me to park right there on the grass? Yeah. Alright. Inside, man. It stopped raining. The house. Welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that buck? Yeah, look at that. And we we can show you all my collection. There's another one over here. Did you ever do a shoulder mount? I'm not a big fan of... I don't know why. I love it. Yeah, it's that way. I love my um, Euros. Yeah. It, it's a mess. Oh man, look at These that. These are just the ones that I clean. There's a lot of bone. <laughs> Yeah. It's just the ones that I came that I kept in the house. There's more in my storage. That's what we're going for right here. Look at that. Do you know a taxidermist? Yeah, it's called Tax. Yeah, so if I, I could ship it. So to if you. Ricky Mills gets something with some bone on oh, its head, yeah. maybe we'll get a shoulder mount? He's the one who cleaned. Uh, he's the one who cleaned all the ones that are hanging there. Yeah. I cleaned this myself. He cleaned this up for me. This was a Oh wow, yeah. He polished it. He put something yeah. on there. Man, it's so uh, it's just a new animal. You know? Something new. It's wild to be uh chasing something yeah, new. Man, I'm willing I'm I'm gonna give you some of this if you wanna take back home. Uh not if I don't shoot anything. <laughs> I gotta shoot something first. Come on, man. What? Let's go. All right, folks. Five o'clock in the morning on 6 June. It's D-Day. D-Day. <laughs> it is. I like it's D-Day. So, yeah. Coffee. So here's to all the... Ready to go. The vets and the service members that paved their life for D-Day. But uh, we're doing almost a veteran hunt today on 6 June, D-Day. We won't meet uh, up with them till later. We're gonna link up with a couple guys. They're already out. We got a Marine Corps vet and then Stan, Air Force. Air Force out on the other side and then <laughs> flights <laughs> are going out. Hey, we're going hunting. We're going rifle hunting. Thanks, man. Thank you. No problem. Thank you for coming. Awesome. All right, let's go hunting. Here's the plan. So talk about the, the Makai. So it's coming up. You guys can see it right behind. Like, it's, I told you it's not me when cannot see yeah. we cannot see anything yeah yeah but i like to be in and watch the sun come up i yeah. love that that's that's part of hunting so we're you know? gonna walk over to the next gulch this is a this gulch right here comes from the archery like i was telling you yeah and we'll be back here about 7 seven thirty, and they'll be piling over to the rifle okay, and we'll okay. be there waiting man nice so for now we're gonna go hopefully Something will walk up against the face opposite of us and then it's a 200-250 yard shot from inside the road. Nice. I like those shots. Yeah. You, Malka you, to Makai. To my wow. left is the mountainside. It's called, we call it Mauka, which is which means mountain in Hawaiian. 
and Makai means ocean. So locals, you'll hear them say, like the fishermen, the hunters, I call them Mauka to Makai, man. Surf and turf. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It is a wild trip, folks. Uh, this has been a true adventure. And uh, I just got here. It's 6 June. Still have like eight more days of this. And I'm in the deer. You seeing where I'm at, man. I was in them on day one. I did tell you you'll be bow hunting till your heart's contempt. Yeah. You just don't have enough time. You could bow hunt <laughs> all day if you want. Schedule here is like up. You're only hunting till like 9, 9.30. And then you're back. You have the rest of the day to do tourism. I went swimming yesterday. I got a little beach I'm going to now. And then, you know, back like 3 o'clock, I start getting ready. I'm out by 3.30, 4 o'clock, back in the woods in the evening until as late as you want to go, till dark. It's pretty relaxed. It's till You're dark. in Hawaii. It's not just, uh, you know, hunting all day. And so everything much sleeps at 7, 8 o'clock. Hey, let's go get a deer. Yeah. Awesome. All right, folks. Sun's getting ready to come up. We'll see you in the woods. You'll be seeing them coming, man. They'll be piling into here and they'll be walking in that flat. Nice. To go in the next That's where all the floor. tracks were. I saw everything. Yep. Everything, I could see everything comes right down. Right below that. Nice. Underneath that tree right there to watch that flat. See a lot of young ones there, yeah. young does out there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, folks, we're getting ready to jump to a new location. So, find more action. We're out. Let's go find them. We spent the next few hours jumping from one vantage point to the next, glassing, looking for animals, and moving. Before the drought, see this archer area? I would perch right below those buildings. 
I would come 6.30 in the morning and just scout the deer coming over to the rifle net. And then three, four days later, I'd, I'd go sign up for rifle and I'd come pop them. It's like clockwork. But the drought was so bad that year. You would walk and every 150 yards in the archery area, you would see on dead deer. Oh, wow. From the drought. It's bloated up. Yeah, Richard was telling me, like, well, we went to the game warden to, to get our licenses for this hunt. And uh, they said at one point they had up to 30,000 deer on the island, guesstimation. And then they had this really bad drought, no water, and it killed a ton of deer. And now they have 15, around 15,000, 15 to 20,000. They don't know for sure, but you know. Wild stuff. There was another drought and you know the mouflon? Yeah. The drought was so bad you would see like dark spots on their fur, like oh, look yeah. like gangrene. <laughs> yeah, they gotta have water. It was so bad. the worst I've seen on the deer like three years ago. Remember we were talking about that deer collar? Mm -hmm. One hunt I came with my son. It was about 9.30 on our way home already. Up where we parked. I called out of the window of the truck like three times. <laughs> oh, wow. Next thing you know, a buck popped out it, itself right below the buildings and was doing this. Oh, yeah, nice, me. nice. So I told my son, hey, come on, grab the rifle, let's hump it down there. Yeah. Because I know he was gonna cross and I'll have a 200 yard shot. And my son couldn't keep up with me, man. I just ran down to one of those bush close mm -hmm. to the boundary. And sure enough, by the time I got there, he was over into the rifle side already. Yeah. Oh, you didn't get him? I got him. Oh, you got pictures of that? Oh, yeah. First deer I ever called and harvested. Never again. Up to you, but I ain't going there to get it. <laughs> Take them out. Take them out. She's down, man. There's the man right there on the board with a you. From way up there. We're 
gonna go recover that you. What's up, man? <laughs> All right, let's, it should be right here. Great. Let's go. Let's go get it. That's it right there, folks. 141 meters with the four stable sticks. Look at that bullet placement. That's after humping around here a little bit, you know, out of breath. We're up here, we're doing our thing. You saw the shot, folks. That's it. So this is my first, my first Mouflon female. Definitely my first animal in Hawaii. Thank you, Richard Gani. Look at that. All right, brother. <laughs> awesome. Folks, we got it done. Uh, it's 6 June, D-Day. We're doing a little veteran hunt out here in Hawaii. We got two more guys over in another position. That shot, that shot was impossible without four stable sticks. I get up on these things and it's so stable, it's ridiculous. You, you, you don't feel your breath. There's no rise and fall for your breathing. There's no heartbeat in there, it's steady. I got on it and he's like, shoot him. Take it out. <laughs> I heard him, he's like, shoot him, shoot him. Folks, look at that Perfect placement. shot, man. Look at that placement. That's on like a, that's a heart shot. I probably blew the heart up. I bet that heart is probably like in pieces in there. So my first wild game, I actually shot at one of these last night with my bow, <laughs> about the same size too. She'll be easy packing. Pack her right out. Huh? Oh. Shoulder, work her way back to the vehicle. We got an animal to process. We'll Let's take her apart. Oh, yeah? Right here. Okay. Oh, we got bags. I got bags, man. I got my kill kit. So you've been hunting with the four stable sticks for like a year now. Mm -hmm. What do you What do you think about the four stable sticks? Tell Tell the people in the camera what you well, think if you about get the four on, stable on an sticks. animal, like, like you said, that thing's steady because you got two points of um, contact to the ground and you got two points of contact on your rifle. And if it, he's within 300 yards in front of you, it's making that shot is, makes it so easier, man. So much easier. What are we shooting here, caliber? I have a 270 uh, caliber rifle right there. And it's a ballistic tip. So I've changed from soft point to ballistic tips. 141, point of aim, point of impact, 270. 270 is what they hunt with in Spain. If you want to, if you ever go to Spain or you watch any of our Spanish Ibex hunts in Spain, that's all they shoot is 270 because it's fast and it's flat. Yeah, I feel that 270 and is it's got knockdown power. For, it's got knockdown power. Size animals and our axis deer in London. Yeah, she dropped right where she stood. All right, let's get her out of here. Thanks, bro. All right, man. Congrats. Here, take a few, take a few pictures of me, and then I'll set up the self timer to take pictures of both of us. Here, just uh, just go around, take a bunch, bunch of pictures. Just go. You start over here, work your way around, and uh, just snap, 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 snap.
ID. <laughs> Self-timer. 